Alright, so we're not gonna follow that at all. Uh, you really can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what we will bring for the second half of the wrestling block here at the DeuceCon Wrestling Federation is the Japanese counterpart. Um, and we will impress you with an insane amount of depth that a wrestling game just really should never have, like, at all. Uh, this is Hybrid Wrestler. This was discovered on accident uh, at a previous marathon. And it just turned out to be the greatest game of all time, so... <laughs> Here we're going to be making a custom character to go through the world of hybrid wrestling. <clears throat> you want to talk a little bit about the legend, Shikuku? Shikuku. This is the, uh, the beginning of his illustrious career, the young Canadian sensation. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They do. Uh, you it's have to type in Funaki. Fun so yeah. just type in, start typing in like fun. <laughs> type in fun and it'll pop up. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so. <laughs> What we're lacking in dick grabbing, we are going to be uh, making more than up for that with uh, odd wrestling rules. So Best here, Shikuku's first match is actually on a scaffold. And you could try to pin someone if you wanted, but that's just not very smart. So really the fastest way to get through this, because this is a speed run, is just to throw him off the edge. <laughs> and uh, that's the first match right there. <coughs> And Shikuku is a brute. Thus begins Shikuku's, not his wrestling career, his actual killing career. It's not good enough for him to defeat his opponents, he actually kills them. This is just another scaffold match, um, but in the mechanic here is that. Oh, nice. It's all, it's you, got, you got pile driven. The mechanic here is that you can't throw him off the edge, but the ring itself. Um, is not made very strong, so if you keep slamming someone on the same spot, you slam them all the way through. <laughs> and now he's dead too, yeah. That's how I assume all wrestling matches take place in Canada. <laughs> um, this is actually it does have RPG elements too, Feral's just skipping them. You actually have stats. Um, they're allocated depending on what style you want to wrestle. Uh, but And you can strengthen your guy uh, over time, but he's just not going to bother. There's a special rule here to where uh, if you force the guy into a rope break, uh, what, four times, then the match, or five times, four times, the match automatically ends. So here with his uh, choke hold here, he's just going to get the match. Choke him out. And then he just breaks his neck <coughs> or whatever, and that's it. That's how Shikiku rolls, man. He don't mess around. I'm going to try to kill everyone I possibly can. Unfortunately, uh, as you kind of go to this like world warrior type uh, single player, um, those are the only three real gimmick matches for the most part. Um, here you're having a street fight with the dude, but there's no way to like make it finish super fast, so you have to actually uh, uh, beat him down enough. You beat him down until he can't get back up. Yeah. This is an angle. According to the game facts, uh, there's a spectator that you can hit and also wrestle with. I tried to find them last night, I couldn't, so don't know if that's actually out here. Um, this guy's got the moves. <laughs> so the uh, optimization, let's say, that Feral uh, routed out for this game uh, is just to knock him down as fast as possible and get as many knee drops as you can. Um, it basically just comes down to the amount of damage he takes, and you just want to try to put in as many blows as you can. So you're just gonna see a lot of closed lines and knee drops, <laughs> dude. That's a good, good screenshot. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> nice, dude. I don't think I've. No, yeah. I haven't either. Because he just kind of. The double KO. Dude. <gasps> this is just as good as Mega Man. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, at the end of each of these battles, you get uh, a certain number of points, you know, stat points, based on how you, how you kill them, basically. Uh, <clears throat> generally, if you, if you actually get a, like a knockout, you get two points. 
And then if you get a ring out, which I don't actually do, um, <clears throat> then you get only, then you only get one. But uh, it doesn't matter because we don't actually use the stats. <laughs> you can actually set like it is a completely customized character. So in his entire move set, uh, you can put in new moves. You'll learn new moves every match. You don't just get stat points. Um, and you can customize everything that you want. Uh, the game's actually ridiculously deep. There's two it's full. Really deep. There's two full pages, both of which that you can scroll down for days for all of his different moves. You can actually <laughs> create your own specialized move as well, uh, which I've never done. I'll actually understand how it works. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, this is a speed run, so any extra menuing is just slow. We're not going to do that. Turns out, if you're just a ruthless killing machine, you don't really need better stats. Yeah, so, <clears throat> like, the way this game works is just so interesting because, right, so it's the beginning of Shikigu's career. He's 18 years old, just fresh to the league. Um, mm -hmm. Every person he murders, you know, it takes a while for him to get off, get off his conscience, I guess. So he has to take like a year break in between each each uh, murder, or maybe it's you know if if you kill two people in one year, you actually go to jail. I don't know. <laughs> but every match progresses one year, so he gets one year older, and you actually get natural stat increases every you know like at certain ages because obviously when you're 18, well, I'm tired you're already. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So if you like perform a ton of actions, you can actually run out of stamina, and you have to kind of sit for a while and let it recover. Uh, the commentator actually says th um, relevant things, actually, to let you know what's going on. He'll actually name the moves, he'll, tell, he'll let you know if you're tired and stuff like that. Um, there's actually an English patch for this game, too. It's so bad. Yeah, and it's not even complete, but if you need your commentary in English, you can definitely do that. Someone cares enough about this game to translate it. <clears throat> translate like 10% of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, anybody you know about wrestling too, a lot of the characters are modeled after um, specific people in one way, shape, or form. Yeah, the, uh, the title character, and you actually um, fight him. I, I forget if we already did, but he's an actual, it's Funaki Masakatsu, he's an actual person, actual, um, like I, I guess he was big in, it's hybrid wrestler, so I guess it was like MMA before, it was like a real, you know, big thing. Um, but yeah, these are... Yeah, I assume everyone else is, yeah, like Big said, probably <clears throat> takes their inspiration. We had your, like, luchador before that. We had, like, our Ric Flair lookalike. So, it's kind of fun. Yeah, most of these guys are pretty, um, you know, conventional. The last two guys we fight are different cheaters, though. And all. Um, <clears throat> see, see, see if they, they, they do their moves, which they probably will, because they always do. But yeah, so it's uh, painstakingly routed out so that we do the, the, the easiest guys first. And you saw them, you know, we just kind of throw them off edges and through uh, roofs. Yeah. <laughs> just because they're super easy, and then when you get, like I said, as you get older, you just get natural stat boosts. So we save the harder ones for later when you have, you know, higher natural stats, basically, because we don't actually put any, any points. It was a lot of routing. It took almost one full stream, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I put a lot of work into this game. Yeah. But yeah, so this is, uh, the category is 100%, uh, basically mur murder everyone. <clears throat> but so, right now I'm doing the circuit, which is, you know, 10, uh, 10 wrestlers from different countries. <clears throat> so we have to win the circuit. And then there's like three three leagues basically that you have to become the champion of, and then there's also one uh, other very important life event that all murderous wrestlers must go through. Oh yes, <clears throat> there's a rite of passage before one can truly be a champion. When does that happen? After the ten? After yeah, I do that after the circuit ends. I was supposed to do this guy a while ago. <laughs> <Thanks for watching. laughs> this guy is similar to uh, one of the other ones where we can just force him to root break. 
And some of these, uh, we didn't get it last time. Sometimes, I think it usually happens more on this one. You can get like a graphical glitch where you beat him, but then it replaces his sprite with your own. So it looks like you lost. Ah, uh, yeah, sometimes it shows if you instead of him for some bizarre reason. See, so yeah, he's supposed to be early because he's also very, very easy. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so I forget what country this guy's from, I should have looked. But he is a dirty fucking cheater. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, you know, up until now, we've been wrestling, you know, like honorable men. Uh, and killing them. And killing them, of course. Well, I mean, when you defeat someone, obviously you get the right to end their life. Look at this! He's got a bottle opener. He's got a fucking bottle opener that he tries to, like, gouge your eyes out with. And it actually, it actually creates a lot of lag. <laughs> you might not be able to tell, but it's super fucking laggy now. It's an intense sprite, man. <laughs> but yeah, like, once he pulls, usually he pulls it out when he's, like, weaker. Oh, he's, he's trying to pull out another one. Or he was just... just... I even put it away. Put it back in his <laughs> You put it back in, huh? <laughs> yeah, usually he does it later on when he's weaker, so that was, like, super early. But yeah, he just... He just grabs it, pulls it out of his pants, and starts trying to punch you in the face with it. And the other guy, the next guy is even. Uh, so yeah, you, you can actually use what the commentator is saying to determine like if you can. Oh, there he goes. Because um, the commentator changes what he's saying based on like how much stamina basically the enemy has. This guy, he's usually pretty weak, so you can take him out pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. That's what you get for trying to use a fucking bottle opener, man. Lag in the speedrun, dude. So this last guy... This guy's... This guy's from Kenya. And... <coughs> this may or may not be, you know, some sort of stereotype, but... You know... <coughs> when he gets weak... Yeah, I love, I love his walk. He's kicking your butt, dude. Yeah, I've low on stamina already, so you can't you can't do like dash moves when you don't have stamina, so that means I can't um, close on. <laughs> but when he gets weak, he, he I guess prays to whatever god he has and uses magic. It's Papa Shango. <laughs> Which I I don't know if I've ever actually gotten hit. I don't know if it actually does damage or if it's just like a visual thing to just try to scare you. But it usually happens. Yeah, dude, it's such a great stance. I'll probably do it somewhat soon. I'll try not to kill him before he does, just because it's so absurd. What do you think the longevity on your knees are at this point? <laughs> oh, my knees are perfectly fine. I see. <laughs> Probably got biotic, bionic knees to... Alright, come on, man. He doesn't want to do it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> like I said, I don't actually know if it does damage. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> His name is Mega Baby. Mega or baby. Mega Mega baby. <clears throat> Mega baby is better. But yeah, so that's the uh, the circuit. So now this is one I I uh, because you know it, it works out routing wise, and because at this point you know Shikaku is probably feeling a little lonely, so we actually has to obviously have to get married. And so you know you can look through this nice catalog of of mail order brides. Some uh, some are actually locked. You can't unlock them until later. But let's see what we got here. I usually like choosing the uh, the youngest ones. The ages in the upper upper right. We'll we'll, we'll go with a, a twenty year old. Nice beautiful ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> he has his mask on, dude. <laughs> and we're married. All right. So because this is hundred percent, um, he does have to get. The titles for the three remaining leagues and you basically have to climb the ladder 
Um, the good news is that once you climb one ladder and you become the champ, you can then just bet your championship against another champion right off the bat. You don't have to uh, climb all the way through theirs. Yeah, you might you might uh, notice that the opponent looks somewhat familiar, except with cooler leggings. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the color. That's the color I, I like to do. But yeah, so this game, um, like it, it, it's kind of crazy. Like your wrestlers persist. So these are actually wrestlers I beat the game with earlier, um, and they just kind of hung around. They're still in the game's memory, and we just see, look, Shikigu versus Shikigu. Um, oh, we just had a baby. So we have to name our baby, of course. And uh, I always go with Bic, of course. Little Bic. <clears throat> That's what they all call me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you have a baby. So yeah, these are uh, just wrestlers that I, I beat the game with earlier. And they're just hanging, hanging out. Ideally, um, they're, the, they're the champions of the leagues too because you're actually really weak. Because, <laughs> you know, obviously we don't put in any stats. So they're super easy to beat. Uh, as opposed to the actual wrestlers, which are pretty difficult. But we do we do this middle league first because um, I mean, oh, nice armbar. <laughs> but I've noticed this league has the same roll set where you can. Did you just lose? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it froze. Yeah. Did it freeze or the music's still going? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need a password? Uh, it, it saves. I know. <laughs> Pretty sure. Pretty sure. It either saves or, or it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Farrell, <laughs> for your clarification. It's probably this 11 win guy. No pants, sad face. All right, yeah, so here we go. All right. So yeah, this this middle league is the same rule set where if you uh, <clears throat> if you make him rope break, it, it just uh, ends. Whereas the other ones, you actually have to like fight. So these ones are way faster. So that's why um, since you have to climb this one, you have to climb one. This one's way faster than the others. This guy is a fucking animal, right? Dude, he's putting his dick in your dick. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm unsure if mashing actually helps, but we'll do it anyway. There we go. Nope. Yeah, you basically just want to keep him in the side and keep him in the infinite. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so we mentioned all... <laughs> we won't actually see this happen, but... So we had a kid, uh, Young Bic, and like I said, every year, every match you do progresses a year, and you get older. And obviously, you can't wrestle forever. Um, like, eventually, you're just gonna get too tired. You actually start losing moves the older you get. So, losing matches obviously waste time, but you also eventually lose the ability to choke people out. And you, you actually cannot kill them at that point. Uh, you just scissor eight them or whatever. Uh, whatever that moves yeah. <clears throat> it's but yeah, so eventually, you just get too old, your stats decrease at, with age. Um, and so what you can do is once once your once your kid is 18, you can actually choose to, to train him. Oops. Let's go to the left or to the right. Um, you can train him, and basically, if you have a signature move, you teach him your signature move, and take over as their kid. So it's this game has a new game plus function where you train your child and keep playing as him, which I haven't I haven't done, but that it's I mean it's. Unprecedented in a wrestling game. A two, a two hundo. <laughs> a two hundo. <laughs> Beat it again as your kid. <laughs> yeah, so we're about to. You actually um, don't have to do every match. There's there's six different opponents you can fight. Um, you only have to do every other for some strange reason. So I did five three one, and now I'm fighting the champion, M Cougar. This guy's the Canadian dude that we just threw, brutally threw through the roof. Uh, he's actually really hard. He's insanely strong. Uh, he's, I mean, look at him. Um, he does a lot of damage, though. And he, he does, like, eye gouges and shit. 
So ideally, we don't have that happen. <laughs> but I, th I think usually he's he's champion of another league, so you actually have to fight him. Um, luckily, in this case, you can just TKO him and become the champion of the ECW. Whatever that is. Euro European Championship Wrestling, maybe? I don't know. <sighs> Why would the Canadian be the champion of the European League? That's a good question. God damn it, Farrell. <laughs> this guy's in the wrestling block, doesn't know anything about wrestling. <laughs> so yeah, so now now that we won that one, we can just immediately challenge another champion. Um, the downfall is that if you lose, since you obviously bet the other one, uh, he becomes the champion of that, and you have to fight him again to retake that one. But if you do lose, uh, the European Championship, you know, belt. Uh, <clears throat> again, it's just very easy to take because it's, you know, you just, you just TKO. Them. But again, these these ones, um, you, you can't Ooh. do that. Damn. Nice power bomb. So you just have to beat the shit out of him. No, no, nothing easy like before, sadly. Uh no, I, I haven't I haven't gotten that far. I think if you lose like two, um, like two matches, so you, so you basically end up two years older. I think you can't uh, choke people out anymore. But I don't think I've ever not been able to uh, drop people. So that's, that's two out of three, and now we just have the last one. So, uh, one of the weird things also about this game is you notice I have like the catalog of women and, and whatever. Um, so, obviously, you know, wrestlers persist, like I was fighting myself. Um, so, it's in the same universe as the other wrestlers, but the catalog of uh, the, the women you can marry stays the same for everyone, and they stay the same age. So like you can basically make a ton of wrestlers married to the same woman, uh, and like when you make them, she's the same age. So so you have like a bunch of the same women, just like different age, uh, different ages of them. So it's like super weird. Like you think they would maybe randomize that or something, or like when you marry someone, it takes them out or something. I don't know. It's really it's 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 interesting. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't uh, gone through. I think you unlock the other wives um, if you progress, because like you can. So I made my character. I, mean, I made Shikuku, <clears throat> so we could tell the story of, of his illustrious career. But you can actually play through uh, as one of these guys, and like as you play through with them, you actually unlock other marriage prospects. Which doesn't even change anything. Oh no! At your, all. Your, your wife yeah. doesn't doesn't affect anything yeah. at all, except for your your wedding picture, which of course matters a lot because it's the happiest day of your life. Yeah. <laughs> you need someone to go home to after you've just brutally murdered someone. You know? So it's it's nice it's nice to have have the comfort of a wife and a child. But get get me on time; it'll be coming up. Uh, I do it once once the screen fades on the victory screen. All right, so just beat the last guy, and then it'll show us, you know, with a nice sweet pose, and then time will be when it, when the screen goes goes black. Check this pose, <laughs> and time. Nice, dude. GG, Dean. All right, friends. We're going to cap off Wrestling Block with Zelda, Zelda 2. <laughs> the best wrestling.